joy it is to be with you today. Pastor Brooks and I are joining you from our home live. I said live on YouTube and Facebook. We are glad that you have come to share with us this day. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Thank you for joining us today. Today, Sunday, at 11.30 a.m., today and forward, uh, you will receive a weekly update regarding upcoming events. Welcome, we, uh, we welcome you to uh, share your comments and share with your family and friends. And please don't forget to subscribe today. How many of us know that you can be God's giving, no matter how you try? The more you give, the more he gives to you. Today, we encourage each of us to give. There are many options that we have. One way is tightly. You can go online to T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y. The other way, you can donate. You can send your donation to Lily Baptist Church, P.O. Box 170411, Birmingham, Alabama 35217. Again, we encourage you to give. We are so glad that you chose to journey with us today. In our home today, we have Pastor Brooks, of course, and myself. We have the Hughes family and also Brother Carl Mills on the piano. We are so blessed, Lily Baptist. God has tremendously blessed us and opened doors that we can't even explain. We, all we know is God did it. Today, our pastor will be coming to us from the scripture, Matthews 5, 1 through 12. We pray that you will open your Bibles and follow along with, them, with Pastor Brooks in the preaching of the word of God. The message today is titled, Blessed. God bless you, and have a wonderful week.
And we thank God for the technology that affords a place where we can still worship God. Today, my message is going to come from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, beginning with the first verse uh, until the 12th verse. And my topic today is blessed. What does it mean to be blessed? How does the word bless apply to a Christian? We hear so many people say, I'm blessed, or you're blessed, or I'm waiting on a blessing. I want to see and look at what Jesus says about being blessed. Mm -hmm. Of course, chapter 5 of Matthew is the Beatitudes, or the Sermon on the Mount. I had the, uh, I was fortunate to visit the spot that uh, most scholars believe was the Sermon on the Mount was delivered. The Mount of Beatitudes, they call it. Mm -hmm. Matt. But still, there's a backup scripture. Matthew chapter 6 and verse uh, beginning at 17 through 26. Maybe it was uh, a sermon that Jesus had preached before. But this time it says Jesus came down from the mountain and he stood on the plank. Can you see the difference? Matthew chapter 5, he said he went up into a mountain and when he had sat down, when he was sick, his disciples came unto him. What can we learn from that? The ancient teachers they would sit, sit while uh, the audience or the students would stand. Even in ancient synagogues, there were no seat for the congregation. Only the teacher would stand. So you can see the difference, but maybe they are much the same. Scripture says, and he opened his mouth and taught them saying, verse number two, that's the normal position of the rabbi is a position of sitting. Man, now the, we see this is a, a series of blessings. How can you be blessed? The Greek word used here is makaios and it is, it means being happy, being fortunate, blissful. But Jesus meant it to be more complicated and not just a surface emotion. Jesus was describing the divinely bestowed well-being that belongs only to the faithful. And so only the ones who are faithful to Christ or that are Christians are the ones that are automatically blessed. I'm not waiting for a blessing. Because I have committed my life to Jesus, I am blessed. Amen. 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 And verse number three, Jesus began this series. And by the way, on the mountain, significant uh, sermons were preached. Prophecies were made. Mm -hmm. So you can see the uh, similarity to Moses who went up on a mountain and God gave him the Ten Commandments. All right, verse number uh, three says, blessed, uh, blessed are the poor in spirit, mm -hmm. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Verses, no, verse number three. Those who recognize that they are bankrupt without God, uh, arrogant folk, Folk think they got it all together. Yes. Are not blessed. 
Amen. Yes. Those who think they have everything. Amen. Those who consider that they are bankrupt without God's Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I am what I am because of God. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you recognize and you're poor in spirit, you are an heir to the kingdom. That's what he said. Here's a blessing. Amen. He said, you're blessed, but, but he said, those people who have that type of attitude, amen, are heirs to the kingdom. In other words, amen, I automatically am an heir to the kingdom. And when I say the kingdom, I mean the domain where Christ is in charge. Where he is the kingdom. Amen. A dukedom is where a duke is. And other things. You understand that a principality is where a principality, a prince is the controlling person. Yes, yes. But in the kingdom, God is the king. And Jesus is the king. Look at the next one. It says in verse number four, it said, blessed are those who mourn. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Those who are godly sorry for their sin. There are a lot of people are not sorry, even though they have done some wrong and they've acknowledged to it. To it. But uh, you ought to be godly sorry Stand in your heart for the sin that you have committed. Those who are sorry for their sin. Those who are godless sorrow. Those godless sorrow brings repentance. Amen. I'm sorry. Repentance means I'm sorry and I'm willing to make a change. Amen. There are a lot of people sorry say sorry. Because I got caught, but a true sorrowful person is willing to make a change. Amen. Amen. Look at verse number five. This is a powerful verse. Blessed are the meek, the meek. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the inherit the earth. Amen. Meekness is not weakness. It takes a strong person to be meek. Amen. I want to say that again. Meekness is not weakness. It's not weakness. What meekness is, is strength under control. Amen. Those ones who are meek, amen, have uh, their strength under control. Amen. Amen. Strength under control. Amen. Amen. Next one I want to look at is blessed are they which do hunger and thirst for righteousness. Amen. Those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. For what? They shall be filled. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. That's the opposite of self-righteousness. Amen. I want to do what is right. I, I want to do what is right. I, I want to spend all of my energy in trying to do what is right. Amen. You know, you have some people who seek after God's righteousness and not their own righteousness. A lot of people are self-righteous. I'm right and everybody else is wrong. But what he's saying, those people are blessed who seek after God's righteousness. Amen. 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 Then the next one is verse number seven. It said, blessed are what? The merciful. Blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain uh, mercy. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Those who are merciful. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. God yes, sir. will give you mercy. Yes, yes, he will. Lord, have mercy. Yes, yes. he will. Yes. Ooh, if I had a church here, I'd yes, be shocked. Yes, sir. Shot. You have a church, <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The converse is true. Those who are, what? Unmerciful mm -hmm. shall receive in kind, what you did, y'all. Are you with me there? Yes. All right. Amen. All right. The converse is true. It is true if you are merciful, God will extend to you the mercy of God. Amen. Amen. A lot of people wait for time that, that they can take advantage of somebody mm -hmm. in their weakness. Mm -hmm. My Lord. But that's not the way it is for the children of God. Amen. You ought to be merciful yeah. because God has extended unto me mercy. Amen. And, and, and yeah. I want to say this. I jotted down in my notes. We all need some mercy. Yes, yes we do. Everybody, everybody all over, everywhere, they need some mercy. Yes. No matter how big you are, short you are, amen, uh, rich you are, you still need some mercy. Yes. Amen. There's going to be a time when somebody's going to have uh, the strength over you. Amen. But you need mercy. Yes. Yes. And look at the next one. It's verse number eight. It says, blessed is what? The pure in heart. Mm -hmm. For they Amen. shall see God. Amen. Blessed are the pure in heart. Amen. For they shall see God. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Unadulterated. Amen. Not only with the perception of faith. Amen. Not only with this out of faith, but yes. folk that appear. There are a lot of people uh, are, are, are just uh, nothing but a big show off. Jesus called them hypocrites. All right. But here he is saying, amen, the pure in heart. Yes. The pure in heart. Yes. I, I worked in a laboratory for 10 years, and while I uh, worked there sometime, we had to, uh, had to uh, analyze some things uh, as to see how pure it was. Mm -hmm. We had some, you know, analyze it to see how pure it was. Yes. But you see, God knows how pure we are. Yes, he does. And if you yes. appear, amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. amen. Oh, Lord. Pure in heart. Not only perception of faith, but what they're, they are going to see God. Yes. I mean, really see God. Yes. Amen. Now, seeing God goes uh, beyond just going to heaven. Amen. Is getting a clear understanding of who God is and what he's all about. Amen. Yes, amen. You can see God before you get to heaven. Yes. Yeah. Amen. You can you can brush away the uh the the things that cause us not to see. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Then look at here. Here's another one here. And verse number nine is uh blessed are the peacemakers. Yes. Blessed are the peacemakers, for amen. they shall be called the children of God. Amen. You Amen. ought to be a peacemaker. Yes. Amen. Not a peace breaker. Amen. God's love extends even to our enemies. Amen. People that don't want to treat us right. Maybe right. curse you out or uh, just do all manner of evil against you. You still ought to try to make peace. Amen. Amen. Be not dismayed whatever be time. God will take care of you even though you look like you're in in a terrible situation. Amen. You ought to be a peacemaker. Amen. I want to tell you the reason why you ought to be a peacemaker is because God loves everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everybody. Every Peacemakers are those who are children of God. Amen. In the greatest sense. Yeah. That's what a peacemaker is. Mm -hmm. Have you seen so many people that want to be peace breakers mm -hmm. instead uh, peacemakers. Amen. We ought to look toward uh, uh, the whole nation and try to make peace. Yes. Amen. Speak words of peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, yes. And then verse number 10 is so beautiful. 
it says, uh, verse number 10 and 11, now together it said, Blessed are they which are persecuted mm -hmm. for righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. 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 What he's talking about Amen. is the domain of Christ. When I said kingdom, I All think right. I explained that. But blessed are you, in verse number 11, when men shall revile you yes. and persecute you mm -hmm. and say all manner of evil against you falsely Amen. for my sake. Amen. Amen. He said those people who uh, endure uh, persecution yes. and evil talking yes. against them. He said, those are the people who are blessed. Yeah. Really blessed. Have you ever been in a situation where people speak evil against you? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. All kind of things. They Amen. all kind of evil against you. Amen. Those people are really, uh, they are really cursed. All right. Instead of being blessed. Well, you are being blessed when men, it looks like it's kind of turned around, but... Uh, men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you yes. falsely for my sake. That's the key word, falsely. Mama. Amen. 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 Evil spoken against a Christian falsely. That's what folk would do. All right. But he said that, that person that you speaking like that, guess what? He's blessed. All right. He blessed. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Such persecution carries with it. You say, I'm glad they talking about me. I used to sing old Dark Love songs. Say, Always somebody talking about me. Yes. Really, I don't mind. Yes, sir. Amen. They try to block and stop my progress all of the time. But the mean things they say about me don't make me feel sad. But I never met a friend, miss a friend. That I never had. Amen. And she goes on in the course and said, I've got Jesus. Yes. And that's enough. That's enough. Amen. Look what he said. He said, you ought to rejoice. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, you sir. ought to rejoice. Yes, Real sir. rejoice. Yes. And be what? Exceedingly glad. glad. Amen. He said, for great is your reward yes. in heaven. He said, you got good company because they persecuted the prophets which were before you in verse number 12. Amen. Your fathers were persecuted. Yes. The prophets were persecuted. Yes. The saints were persecuted. Yes. So I, I encourage all of you today and what we're going through in our nation. I hear some things that are terrible. And it really upsets my spirit sometimes. My Lord, yes, my Lord. But I yes, read sir. the yes. Beatitudes. Yes. yes. Where they say, when folks say all manner of evil yes. against you, yes. be yes. blessed. Yes. My Lord. Yes. Be blessed. Yes. And so that's what the pastor said to our congregation morning. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters. Yes. Don't let it uh, get you down. Don't let Amen. Uh, your spirit be sore. Amen. And, and, and don't let the things that some political people say against you, look up to the Lord. Because Amen. what? In this scripture, he has promised me mm -hmm. that I'm going to be in extremely fortunate and, and what? Blessed yes. of God yes. and because I am a child of God. Amen. So, amen. So, no matter what what it looks like. Yes, all right. Amen. Everything going to be all right. All yes, right. All yes, right. it will. You're at home, but say amen. 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 <laughs> amen. Yeah. Let us pray. I want to pray for our whole congregation. Uh, we got uh, some people that are sick, and, and even in our family, we've had some deaths and a lot of things that's going on. I want you to pray. I want you to pray and pray for our church. Yes. Don't forget to give. Our Father in heaven, we love you, oh dear God. You're so good and we thank you, Lord. We thank you, oh God, for this technology. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you, God, for those who have tuned in today. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, God, for each one of them. Thank you. I pray that you will bless them unimaginable. In other words, 
beyond their imagination. Yes, it will. Oh, God, I pray that you supply unto them all of the needs. All of them. That they need according yes. to your riches and glory. Yes. Bless our young people. Yes. Bless our old folk, those who are infirm and sick. Yes. Oh, God, I bless our nation. Our president, we pray yes. for him too. Yes. Oh God, pray for our mayors that we have in uh, Birmingham area. And our state yes. governor, we do pray. Yes. We lift them all up to you. For we know that every good and every perfect gift comes from you. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you for tuning in.